خدمت اور اعتماد کے پچاس سال اسٹیٹ لائف انشورنس کارپوریشن آف پاکستان سو آئی جوائنٹ اسٹیٹ لائف ایئر اینڈ ہاف بیک مارچ لاسٹ ایئر ایز چیئرمین اینڈ سی ایو ٹرائی ٹو دیٹ آئی مائی پروفیشنل لائف از موسٹلی بین آؤٹ سائڈ آف پاکستان موسٹ ریسنٹلی آئی واز ان ہانگ کانگ آئی واز ورکنگ ایز گلوبل ڈائریکٹر ریسک اینڈ اسٹریٹجی فار اے آئی اے وچ از اے پینج لارجسٹ پینج ان انشورنس انشورنس گروپ آئی واز آلسو ود ہانگ کانگ فار اوائل ود ملیمن وچ از ان امیریکن اسٹریٹجی اینڈ مینجمنٹ کنسلٹنسی سو آئی واز ان ہانگ کانگ فار اباؤٹ فور ایئرس بفور دیٹ آئی بین ان لندن موسٹلی فار اباؤٹ تھرٹین ایئرس اور سو دیر آئی کوالیفائڈ ایز این ایکچوری آئی ورک ود ایچ ایس بی سی um ey the consultancy in european actuarial services and prudential different roles from advisory I mean, advisory to capital management to actuarial services and now here i am see i grew up in pakistan uh my my entire schooling was in here in karachi i was born, born in quetta then moved to karachi my parents moved to karachi then i've been in karachi all my schooling was in karachi Uh, Karachi Grammar School, where I did my A-levels from. Um, initially, I did a short stint with a firm called Lachlan Hassan with an, as an actuarial trainee or an actuarial student for a couple of years before I went away for my master's. But at the end of the day, your root is your home country. And to be able to come back and uh, in your own way, in your own area of expertise or professionalism, to have an idea that you can contribute a little, there's no better reward. Um, and hence, that's what it is. If you look at the last 20 years, globally, have been um, very happening years from geopolitical to geoeconomic scenarios. And to be part, uh, to be working the financial capital of the world, London during that time, uh, among some great professionals, but also with your own culture and heritage being there. Um, we know all, all that has been happening uh, geopolitically, being a Pakistani Muslim in that society. It really gives you a sense of um, identity and how to be confident about it. But also accepting of all different point of views. To when you're uh, on the flip side, now that I'm here, then my focus remains that to ensure inclusiveness. And that's not only limited to gender, but also ethnic. And um, understanding, most importantly, understanding that every individual comes with their own skill sets. And identifying those skill sets is important. Because then only will they be able to add value, also have um, appreciation of themselves and what they can contribute. So I think that cultural learning um, has been the most important one for me. Now the world average is around three and a half percent. Our neighbors, India is about four, four and a half percent. Even Indonesia and countries like Malaysia would be above three and a half percent. We are at 0.9%. Life insurance is at 0.6%. Now one can say the life insurance industry in Pakistan is split into two. Uh, state life is about 60% uh, of the market share. Uh, over the past year, we've grown that. We were at 50% when I joined. We've, we've increased it to around about 60% uh, end of 21. And hopefully we will gain even more market share. Across both private and public uh, players, what I don't see is a lot of innovation. where we can meet the need of the market, understanding that in a population of 220 million, one product will not, it's not a one size fit all. That innovation, I believe, unfortunately has not been as promotive and as active as it should have been. And that is what we've been trying to change since I've taken on state level for the past year and a half. Now the skepticism comes from Though if it's a savings product sold in the garb of a protection product, i.e. its real purpose is investment and that's what it's being sold as. And when you sell it as an investment product with, um, you call it with the misunderstanding between the buyer and the seller, that this is the purpose of it is to protect you against an unforeseen event, not to give you investment gains. Unfortunately, in the past uh, year, 10 years or so, the practice in Pakistan has been of selling it as an investment product 
which means when markets are volatile, stock markets are volatile, the, the returns may not be as what people would have been expecting. And then their trust in the industry goes away. You see, insurance primarily is what? It's a promise. It's a promise to the individual that when a need arises, the insurance company will be there to, to meet that need. When that promise is broken, the trust goes away. So I think the industry as a whole has to work very hard to bring that trust back. And what we're doing with that is our core product is a savings product, savings and protection product, which is our endowment product. We have further improved that product. And we have also introduced a line of new product lines which focus on protection, which focus on individual needs of, the, uh, of our pot potential customers. It also identifies different age groups, different um, financial segments, so that we can go with a solution that actually assists an individual in their in their life journey right now so they can take their life journeys with a lot more confidence. So one thing that I'd say is um, when you say leadership turnaround, I think uh, I've come in, but the rest of the team is the same. We're working with the same individuals as have been here. I think uh, State Life um, Employee Force is rather loyal and they stay with State Life um, for um, teen years which is a good thing. They come in with a lot of institutional knowledge. What it needed was a bit of direction and a bit of innovation. And that's where our focus has been. So if I look at it, you know, just in the past year, we've launched an entire health line. We've come up with uh, innovative products such as in Sinfei Ahan, which protect women. I was talking about meeting the particular needs. So when I talk about the health line, we're talking about health products that are actually affordable. I personally got involved in designing those products, similar with innovative solutions such as protecting women against cancer. So we've got that. Like I said, savings in products are, are endowment. We used to be one of the best ones, but we've gone and relaunched it uh, under Golden Endowment, it being the 50 years of State Life's um, anniversary this year. And it automatically adds, because what we've done over there is we have technically reviewed the policy, the product, and refined it, which means that the new product gives you an automatic 25% value add um, from day one. So the one thing is, if you ask me what we've done, is we focused on where the needs of the market are, how we can address those. One of the first thing is to segment the market. Our, our, we, have, we are a young nation. We, have, we are a youthful nation. There's a lot of good things happening on the freelancing and the, and the tech industry but there are not any financial, financial inclusive products for them. So we are int introducing those. Health is something that we need to take care of at every step of our lives. And introducing products that are affordable for every individual is the key. Um, so for example, our health product line for as little as, uh, I forgot the numbers right, by 550 rupees a year, you can get your basic health protection. Sinpe Ahan, which is uh, the women uh, protection, cancer protection program, um, as little as rupees 200 a year. I'm saying a year, i.e. you're paying less than 20 rupees a month. So even a college student can get themselves protected and that's the idea of it. And uh, I'm very happy to say that the pension plan that State Life has now is greater value than anything else. It, um, your initial investment into the pension plan is guaranteed to be doubled within seven years. And then of course that means much better um, pension payments in your retirement and a, and a much um, and a much more confident peace of mind for yourselves. First and foremost, insurance insurance industry is always a step behind when it comes to digitalizing and adopting tech. It's just a global for, uh, phenomenon. Um, however, I think there is some good initiatives and a good directional push being brought in on digitalizing and what you call insure tech from the SECP and uh, companies are innovating in there, which is a good thing. As far as the front face is concerned, like I said, we've started our journey in, but we started in earnest. We're bringing on partners and also, um, I think we, we're trying to tackle both ends. But yes, we want to bring the solutions to our customers on their fingertips so they can do everything uh, straight away. And it can be anything from, the, from buying new policies to submitting claims to even getting serviced while they are our customers. But together with that, I think a lot more focus being the largest insurer in Pakistan is to make it all efficient, is that our internal processes have to be digitalized. And there's a lot of focus going on over there as well.
a lot of um, a lot of what we've just spoken about but yes 2021 was a record setting year for state life and i'm very proud to be a part of it uh, part of that journey and the success state life has had in 2021 despite covid and other economic challenges um, and figures that you're talking about, I think there were, there's some fantastic positions over there. State Life increases new business year on year by 100% uh, compared to 2020. We paid 100 billion rupees in claims, which is the first ever in Pakistan. So it's an entire record set. We, I spoke to you, I mentioned to you about our endowment product where we pay guaranteed bonuses each year. In 2021 alone, we allocated about 85 billion rupees in bonuses to policyholders. See, the fantastic thing about State Life in itself is that it's the only company, not only in Pakistan, I think globally, which allocates 97.5% of its profits to its policyholders. So whatever we earn effectively goes straight back to the policyholders. The key factors are really innovation. And we started this journey right from day one when I came in. The purpose of um, the main goal that I've had since I've been here is to really generate and increase the penetration rate in Pakistan, i.e. the acceptance of um, insurance. And the reason for that is a larger insurance industry will contribute a lot more to the economy of Pakistan. It also becomes, an insurance industry also becomes, a vibrant insurance industry has the potential of becoming the backbone of an economy. So yeah, so I think all those things we spoke about, from digitalizing to coming up with new products that serve the people and um, generating a new vibe within state life that yes we can do it so we sat down with a number of media companies and you know we've got a whole diaspora of uh, pitches from you know something very flashy very attractive uh, of how to connect with the the new generation to something of being a bit more archaic given we're, we're an old company, etc. All very interesting, all had their pros and cons. But the one thing that came about, surprisingly, was, you know, that jingle, Ay Khuda Mere Abu, everybody's, it's a, it's a fond memory in everybody's mind. And then once we, had, once we accepted that, that yes, this is something, you know, it's a legacy to be celebrated, and given it's our 50th year anniversary as well. But then Pakistan has also changed since this jingle first came about. You know, a father is not the only sole bread earner of a, of a family anymore. A mother has an equally important role, and, and she had an important role back then too, but uh, more so even now, uh, no matter what they may be doing. They may be homemakers, they may be leading their own lives together with the father, being bread earners. They may be single mothers too. They may be single fathers out there as well. So understanding and respecting those different roles and then one of the things that struck me was this is not a jingle. It's not an ad campaign. It's actually your prayer, if you really think about it. It is something you can wake up every morning and, and just say a silent prayer to yourself. All you're doing is, wa is wishing happiness and well-being for your parents and your family. And of course, your nation and your country. Those are driving factors and are driving identity in any one of our lives. The country and the nationality that we have and the parents in whose shadows we grow up. So waking up and saying a silent prayer for them is uh, probably, we've all done it as children, we've all done it as that. So I saw it more as a prayer than a jingle. And I think that was the thing that we wanted to grasp. Well, first and foremost, on behalf of State Life, I'd like to thank all of Pakistan for their trust in State Life for the past 50 years. Um, it's been a matter of pride, I know, for state life to serve Pakistan for the past 50 years. For the next 50, the focus is to really um, expand the protective and social network across for available and affordable and accessible for all Pakistanis. If one wants to, that's quite a traditional route, we, we want to be there as the, as the back for, as then they can take as a partner in the life journey to live a healthy and longer life. And similarly, if an individual, it's quite a non-traditional route, wants to be, wants to take on more risks, be it from a professional standpoint or otherwise, we want to be there to give them the confidence that they can take and take on more risks because they've got a backstop there to protect them, be it financially or otherwise. So I think um, as far as state life is concerned, we want to focus to help 
the entire industry grow within, within Pakistan. I think there's a huge potential for it. I don't see any competition within the insurance industry. I think the financial services segment can be a lot more stronger to serve Pakistan better, to become the economic backbone of the country and um, individually be there to better serve and protect the people of Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum. Do you want to know that in the future, your family and your family will be complete and you will not have to deal with the money of money. تو ہر ماہ تھوڑی سی بچت کر کے گورنمنٹ آف پاکستان کے سب سے بہترین مالیاتی ادارے سٹیٹ لائف کی مدد سے یہ کام آپ گارنٹی کے ساتھ بہ آسانی کر سکتے ہیں آپ پاکستان میں ہیں یا پاکستان سے باہر اپنے محفوظ مستقبل کے لیے ابھی کال یا واٹس ایپ پر رابطہ کریں شکریہ آپ کو یاد تھا ہاں اور تمہارا گفٹ بھی یاد تھا پہلی اینیورسری پہ साड़ी दी थी वो ड्राई क्लीनर ने जला दी थी और दूसरी पर जो अंगूठी दी थी चोरी हो गई थी और इसको तुम्हारा बेटा जहाज बना के उड़ा देगा अरे ये स्टेट लाइफ की बीमा पॉलिसी है ना चोरी होने का डर ना जाया होने का ये तो बस तुम्हारी तरफ फलती फूलती रहेगी और हमारा मुस्तबिल भी महफूज ऐसी जाएगा ये हमारे उस वक्त काम आएगी जब हमें इसकी सबसे ज्यादा जरूरत होगी हमें मतलब ये तो मेरा गिफ्ट है स्टेट लाइफ खुशियों का ख्याल तहफ के साथ स्टेट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान